ஒன்றாந்தசிய நானாஞ்சன சலாக்கிய சக்சூரன் மூலத்தன் தஸ்மை ஸ்ரீ குருவே நக நமஸ்தே மை டியர் ஃபோக்ஸ் டுடே ஐ வாண்ட் டு டாக் டு யூ அபவுட் த இம்பார்ட்டன்ஸ் ஆஃப் கல்டிவேட்டிங் ஏ சிங்கிள் பாயிண்டட் ஃபோக்கஸ் எஸ் டிஸ்கிரிப் இன் திஸ் யோக சூத்ரா நம்பர் தேர்ட்டீன் தி சூத்ரா கோஸ் லைக் திஸ் ப்ளீஸ் ரிப்பீட் அலாங் வித் மீ தத்திரஸ்தித்தௌ யத்னா அபியாஷா தத்திரஸ்தித்தௌ யத்னா அபியாஷா தத்திரஸ்தித்தௌ யத்னா அபியாஷா the meaning translation of this sutra goes like this practice is the effort to remain steady in the state of concentration so what does this mean for us in our daily lives it means that if you want to achieve success in any area of our lives we must cultivate a single point focus and apply consistent effort to maintain the focus whether we are working on a project at work practicing a difficult yoga pose or trying to cultivate a new habit we must be fully present and focused in the moment giving our full attention and effort to the task at the hand but cultivating a single pointed focus is not always easy we are bombarded with distractions and com- competing demands on our time and attention it can be tempting to multitask or let our minds wander but this only leads to scattered energy and diminished result so how can we cultivate a single point focus the answer lies in consistent practice that is abhyasa we must make a conscious effort to bring our mind back to the present moment again and again again and again whenever they wander off with practice we can strengthen our ability to maintain a state of concentration and focus even in the face of distractions and challenges we must also be patient with ourselves and accept that progress is not always linear there will be times when our minds wander when we feel frustrated or stuck but we must continue to show up and put in the efforts we are our own true source of motivation for actions that can progress our spiritual advancement seeking outside help is fine but real motivation comes from within from the burning need to connect with our real self and to experience our true nature when the real work begins when the distractions have been identified and dealt with then all progress and motivation that can affect ch- affect change comes from within one must make every effort to establish a spiritual practice a sadhana the best way to engage in this effort is with high enthusiasm so what is the difference between yogic abhyasa and then ordinary effort in yoga we are not concerned with small effort because all of us are always making small efforts in life who does not do abhyasa to make money who does not do abhyasa to get various kinds of objects this of course is a very ordinary kind of effort in yoga the object is complete stoppage of chitta and the effort we have to make is to put a complete stop to the fluctuations of the mind yoga chitta vritti nirodha to complete stop the complete stoppage of cessation of the mind is very very important in order to free the mind from fluctuation and oscillations and to reach a state of steadiness the practitioner is advised to practice intensely all the yogic principles from yama to dhyana yama asana yama niyamas asanas pranayama pratyahara dharana dhyana and samadhi so from yama nataman nata to dhyana when we practice regularly this will lead to the kaivalya which is samadhi the eighth ultimatum so this embraces all disciplines morality which is yamas and niyamas ethicality which is niyamas physical mental which is uh, which will become more stronger by asanas and pranayamas intellectual which is more uh, uh, awareness building and things when you are doing pratyahara practices and dharana and dhyana we bring 
get into the spiritual more plane which will get us to the kaivalya which is samadhi so my friends let us commit to cultivate a single pointed focus in all areas of our lives using this power of abhyasa to maintain a state of concentration and focus let us trust in the process and have faith with time and dedication we can achieve success in whatever we set our minds to again please repeat this sutra before we uh, close this session this sutra tatra sitau yatno abhyasa tatra sitau yatno abhyasa let us practice and to make a steady practice make a steady practice with full focus and concentration and make our life a complete bliss a complete nityananda complete awareness to make the life a very happy and joyful on every moment on every day and the, not only the joy will come because of the joy the whole family the whole society will get benefit of the radiation that we are going to bring thank you and namaste Om Tat Sat, Om Tat Sat, Om Tat Sat. Please subscribe to our Vedi Books YouTube channel by clicking on the bell icon.